Well, it's time to join the most recent winning team on the European Tour, Christopher Broberg and Caddy John Dempster. Guys, thanks for joining me. Firstly, congratulations on last week. What a tremendous feeling that must be to be in the winner's circle. Yeah, it just feels awesome to be a winner out here on the main tour. That was my main goal. And me and my, my friend John here, just, our main goal was to have a win before I turned 30. So that was pretty good. And when do you turn 30? Next year, 1st August. Good stuff. Well, a nice early birthday present. John, how about this guy? Impressive stuff last week. But you've been together for, well, you tell me, 17 or 18 events, something like that? Yeah, I think this is 17. We started in Sweden this year. I always, always believed they had the game to, to win out here. Not just once. I think you'll go on and win again afterwards. Well, a very good team, very good partnership. But we could talk all day. What I really want to do is get stuck into this bag. Christopher, I'd like you to show me the club in here that you absolutely love the most. But at the moment, it must be the, my putter. Yeah, it's a Odyssey Wide Eyes Center Shaft 2 ball that I got from my coach wife last two weeks ago. So you've stolen your yeah. coach's wife's putter yeah. and immediately won a European Tour event with it? Yes, the first week with it. <laughs> what an unbelievable story. Are yeah. you, is she getting it back or is no, it no, staying no, in no. here? No, it's staying in here. I just would quite like you to quickly go through, John, because you're the man with the numbers. Go through a few of the numbers here that Christopher hits because a bigger hitter than usual. Yes, um, a lot of times we'll get on tees and there'll be guys, guys going in the bag for five irons and sometimes it's, it can be seven iron for Christopher because he can hit his, his seven iron 170 metres, which is around 187 yards. Even 190, I've seen him hitting, hitting the ball um, when he's you know swinging it properly and striking it well. So, you know, 170, and then we just work our way back sort of 10, 12 metres through the bag. Um, lots of people love to see the wedges in the bag. Tell me, what's your setup here with the wedges? It's a uh, MD3, 52, 56, 60, so, and some grinding on them and some nice stamps on them. Now, John, let's have a dig about in that bag. What's in there that's completely unique to Christopher, John? The first thing you usually ask me before he goes on the tee in the morning, it's a good old fashioned British 50 pence, but it's his lucky one and he likes it and he yeah. sticks with it. Can we get it out? Can we have yes, a look? I think it's in here somewhere. Not in circulation anymore, worth nothing essentially, but worth a lot to you, Christopher, out in the course. And that's a lucky one, so. Just show our camera that lucky 50p, Christopher. There you go. Lovely to see that. I've not seen one of them in years. Do you know what, guys? We could spend all day here having a dig about. Um, what I'd just really like to say to you guys is thanks for your time. Congratulations. Best of luck with the rest of the week.